I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today I'm going to show you how to use the Tusk Leak Down Tester on your motorcycle ATV or side by side. Now this is one of the first tests I like to do if I have any running issues with the machine. And that's because if you do this test it's really simple and straightforward and can help eliminate a lot of problems people overlook. And that way you're not chasing down a problem and you're pinpointing exactly what's going on. Now. With this test, it's going to be pressurizing the combustion chamber and it's going to test your valves, your piston rings, as well as your head gasket. And hey, if you don't find any problems, then you know your issue is somewhere else. So it eliminates that top end. Now, I usually do this with a compression test as well, since the compression test is dynamic and it can check the cylinder walls, the cam lobes, and your cam timing. So with all that being said, this is a straightforward test, it's simple to do. Let's get started. For this test, you need to gain access to your spark plug. So a side-by-side, -side, you wanna remove your access panel. On a dirt bike like this, you wanna remove your seat and gas tank, and then clean around that spark plug area. Then we can remove our spark plug. Now we're gonna take the spark plug and we're gonna match it up with the correct hose adapter. So these threads are matching. So we can use this adapter. And we're just gonna thread that down into the spark plug hole. And then you just wanna go till that O-ring lightly squishes. We're good right there. Next, we need to put the engine at top dead center on the compression stroke. So that means your piston is gonna be at its highest point in the cylinder and both valves are gonna be closed. To get your piston at that point, what you're gonna do, you need to remove some timing covers. So we have a cover on the left side of this bike we're going to remove that's going to let us rotate the engine over and then on the right side of the bike we have a bolt we're going to remove and that's going to give us our timing mark you want to rotate the engine over in its normal direction of rotation and make sure that timing mark is lined up now the timing covers are going to look a little bit different for every machine so make sure you use your model specific service manual now that we're at top dead center, we're gonna shift the bike into high gear and we'll have somebody hold the brake while we do our test. That way the engine doesn't rotate from top dead center. And you wanna verify that timing mark once you have this in high gear. Now, if you have a machine that you can't do this on, you can hold that crankshaft still with a breaker bar, but make sure that somebody has that securely held in place. Next, we're gonna hook up our gauge to do this you need to calibrate this gauge. So it's got this regulator built right into it. We're gonna pull down on the knob and then I'm gonna turn that all the way counterclockwise if you're looking at it like that. And that way we don't put too much pressure on this gauge. Our air supply is about 100 PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. And then we're gonna turn this in until we zero the gauge. Went a little past it. So what you wanna do now is take one of the other adapters that came in your kit. You're gonna momentarily hook this up and verify that the needle goes back to zero. Once it does, that means you have the gauge correctly set up. If it doesn't go back to zero, make some adjustments until it does. So we need to turn this up just a hair. So now that we have the gauge calibrated, we're gonna press down on the regulator that's locked in place. And now we can hook this up, but right before I do, I wanna have a friend hold that brake so that, again, the engine does not turn over. So we're right about 9%. That's actually pretty good. We're about 40 hours on this bike. So we know that our top end is in good condition. At this point, if you hook up your gauge and it goes straight to 100% leakage, you know that the piston is at top dead center on the exhaust stroke. So that means both the intake and exhaust valves are gonna be open. So if that happens to you, it means you need to rotate your crankshaft 360 degrees in its normal direction of rotation. And that's gonna put you on top dead center on the compression stroke. Once you have your readings, you wanna compare those to the chart that came with your leak down tester. So up to 5% leakage, that is excellent condition. If you're between six and 15% leakage, then your engine is in good condition. Now, if you're above 
15%, that's when you're gonna to wanna to start making some checks and looking into doing some top end repairs. Now with that being said, if you're racing dirt bikes, if you have a bike like this FX350, typically I try to keep it under 10% leakage because you're going for top performance. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make some of those checks. To find out where you're losing pressure, you wanna leave the gauge hooked up and we're gonna start at the air box, we're gonna have the cover removed and we're gonna listen for air. And you can open the throttle that can help determine if air is coming out of there. If you hear airflow here, it means that your intake valves are not sealing. Next, listen at the exhaust. If you hear air, it means the exhaust valves are not sealing. Next, remove your oil fill cap or dipstick and listen for air coming out of the crankcase. That's gonna indicate worn out piston rings. We're also gonna remove our radiator cap. If you see bubbles coming up through this, it means you have a bad head gasket. And last, we're gonna spray around the outside of our head gasket with some soapy water. If you see any bubbles, it means you have a leak there. So once you've gone around the bike and listened to all those areas and pinpointed where the issue is, you can go ahead and make the appropriate repairs. Keep in mind that if it's leaking past the valves, it might be as simple as a valve adjustment. But with some of the race bikes, if you've got titanium valves and they're way out of adjustment, sometimes that means you're gonna to have to rebuild the cylinder head and get new valves in there because that coating on the valve can wear out. So with that being said, if you need to do a top end, replace your piston or just valve adjustment stuff, we've got how-to videos on those. So go check those out, subscribe to our channel. If you need this Tusk leak down tester, it's available on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And hey, make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more helpful content. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.